That is my favorite one. Out of all the Tic Tacs, Tic Tac. Guys, <laughs> I freaking need a nap. Today I am making viral one pot recipes to see if they're worth the hype. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a lot of fun recreating these viral recipes. And because it's summer, I really was just looking for the one pot meals that are easy, fast, and hopefully delicious. All right guys, you're ready. Let's go try them. Okay, the first recipe I'm making is a one pot chicken and rice. Now this is from Cooking with Lex. It has over three million views. So here's hoping it's good. Oh, it's look good. Looks really good. Okay, she's setting it aside. Onions, butter, garlic. What else am I seeing in there? Rice and chicken broth, okay. Ooh, put the chicken back in, cook it up. That's easy, that looks super easy. I love how she's dishing it up. My kids would eat it that way. They love everything separate. All right, let's try. Before I start, you guys saw my last video where I accidentally melted my cutting board. My husband, he cleaned it all off. It's looking good. So. This one doesn't have instructions or measurements, ingredients, anything. So we're just gonna attempt it and see how it goes. Bear with me. So we're gonna start by oil on the bottom of the pan. It looked like oil, so I'm guessing that's what we're going to do here. Now because we're having all kinds of weird shortages, there are no chicken thighs. That's what she's cooking with. So we're gonna do chicken breasts and I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller. Now she seems a little chill like me, so it looks like she used season salt on her chicken, so that's what I'm going to do. We're just gonna season this really, really well. And I did cut my chickens in half, my chickens. My chicken breasts, there we go. And we're gonna season these babies pretty good. They're all seasoned, ready to go. Now they're not cooked all the way through fully cooking, so they are nice and brown. Don't worry, we will finish cooking them. So once your chicken's out, we're just guessing here. But I did see butter, so we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in here. I saw some garlic, so I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic. And I saw some onion, so we're gonna do about a fourth cup or so of onion, fourth cup, half cup, half an onion, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And we're just gonna mix that all up. Onions are browned. She added about two cups, I'm guessing. We're gonna add two cups of chicken broth and about a cup of rice. And hopefully, hopefully that will be enough. I'm gonna spread this all around, cover all the rice. Then I'm just gonna throw the chicken right back in. And we're gonna cook this up for about 20-ish minutes, at least until the chicken's cooked, the rice is cooked. We're gonna cover it and put it on low for 20. Timer went off. Ooh, looks really good. Now for the taste test. That's really good. I love it. All right. Five out of five. Five out of five. Sure. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, this next one is from Jordan Darian. I hope I'm saying that right. 12 million views. It doesn't have a name, but we're gonna call it like taco beef rice or something like that. But you guys, you just gotta watch it. Okay, I don't love when meat is frozen. Taco seasoning. We must be soulmates because there is no measuring here. It's just throwing. Onions, good. I mean, it's looking good. I hate when meat is frozen when you try and cook it. That's like the worst thing. Add in some beef broth. That looks good. It's looking good so far. And some water. Okay. And a lot of rice. It's looking okay. If it was me, I'd probably drain the grease, but I mean, you do you. Okay, more taco seasoning. We're just throwing it on in there. <laughs> I like it. Okay, she cooked up the rice, she cooked everything up. Oh, nacho cheese. She's at a half can, now we're going for the full on can. Serves it with cheese, Doritos, salsa verde. Okay, here we go. I am not going to use frozen beef because I just don't want to. But I like what she was doing. You know, she was just throwing things in. So some garlic some pepper, and then this is my favorite part. There's no eyeballs here. She was just like going to town on taco seasoning. So I got a big container of taco seasoning, going to town just like her. I'm a fan. If you notice, she also used a chopster. I was proud. You're just gonna chop it up? Oh wait, one sec, I forgot. <gasps> she added some onion in there too. So we're gonna just throw that in there Why we're here. All right, all done cooking. Now I'm just gonna drain the grease really quick. Now we're gonna add, she added four cups of beef broth. I don't want beef broth, but. It worked for her, so I feel good about it. She added some water too. I'm not sure how much water, so I just put a little bit of water in here. And, yeah, okay, there's my water. Okay, I feel good about it. Now she's got a couple of cups of rice, so I'm guessing two cups of rice. We're just 
I'm guessing it'll work. I'm hoping it'll work. Mix our rice in just a little bit. Then my favorite part of the whole thing is she just added like a ton more taco seasoning. Then she just did a low boil until the rice was cooked all the way through. So it takes about, oh, 20-ish minutes for your rice to cook. She didn't cover hers, but I'm gonna cover mine. Okay, our rice is done. Meat is done. Now I understand why she needed to add a little bit more liquid in there. It, that is a lot. This is a lot. Then she added a whole entire can of the nacho cheese. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, then we're just gonna mix in all the cheese. To finish up her recipe, she adds some cheese on top. She adds Doritos, but I'm out of Doritos. The kids polish those babies off. So we're adding Fritos. Close enough, right? Then we're gonna add some salsa verde on top. Taste testing. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna give it a two. A two out of five. The salsa verde is a little too strong for me. If I was doing it again for my toppings, cut out the chips. You don't even need any more cheese. Plenty of cheese. I would probably add lots of vegetables like tomatoes, lettuce, olives, all kinds of stuff. Make it like a big taco salad. Add some lettuce in there too. I think that would be delicious. But with the toppings that she added, even though I know mine's a little different, I didn't have Doritos, it's, it's just a little much for me. So two, two out of five. All right, taste it. Tell me what you think. I give it a five out of five. Now, even though I didn't love it, my kids did. Okay, and the last one is from Girl Mom 10. This one has 13 million views. So she is making creamy sun-dried tomato chicken pasta. Okay, oh, she's using the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. That's a great idea. Adding some chicken, lots of seasoning. Mm. Okay, chicken is done. Adding the Parmesan, removed it, okay. Adding the butter, garlic, all the good stuff. Adding water, bring it to a boil. Okay, I looked for this pasta everywhere, could not find it, so I have to use a different pasta. This looks good. I love how you can make some vegetables into it. My kids, they won't even know they're in there. More Parmesan, this is my kind of dish. And the sun-dried tomatoes might be one of my favorite things to add in pasta dishes. Have the chicken back, that looks amazing. I love how she used the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. I never thought of that. I usually kind of just dump it out and don't use it, so. Love this idea. Next, she added one pound of chicken breast, but mine is closer to two pounds because I like a lot of chicken. Now to me, it looked like she had three teaspoons, heaping teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And because I have a little more chicken, we're gonna do like really heaping here. Then she had a heaping teaspoon of paprika, and then she just sprinkled on some crushed red pepper flakes. Then we're just gonna cook the chicken until it's pretty much cooked through. Once your chicken is done, it smells so good. We're gonna add about a fourth cup of Parmesan. We're gonna mix this just for a second, and then we're gonna remove the chicken from the pan. We're adding two tablespoons of butter, two cloves of garlic, and you're supposed to add a shallot, which I forgot to buy, so we're just skipping that step. I apologize. We're just cooking this until fragrant. So next, we're going to add three and a half cups of water. Oh shoot, before the water, I'm supposed to add one more teaspoon of Italian seasoning. But you know what? We're mostly just kind of seasoning the water right now to do the pasta, so we're just gonna mix it in now and it will be just fine. We're gonna turn this up high and when this is boiling, then we're gonna add in the pasta. All right, now that it's boiling, we're just gonna add one pound of pasta. We're gonna cover this pasta so it's all, we don't want any hard pasta. Then we're gonna set the timer for eight minutes. Once your noodles are done, you're gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Two cups of spinach, and I'm just gonna eyeball this. And the juice of a lemon. Now, I'm cheating because <laughs> that's how we roll here. So, we're just doing a little bit of lemon juice here. Then, we're just going to mix this around so everything's incorporated and the spinach cooks down just a little bit. Once that's cooked down, I'm gonna go ahead and add eight ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. Now, you can go cut them into smaller pieces if you want to. This is what mine look like. They're kind of like sliced or diced. Yeah, it's about eight ounces. If your family doesn't like the tomatoes, you don't have to do a ton, but 
I think they have a, they add a ton of flavor. Now once everything is mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. Now I have a lot of chicken here. You don't have to use this much. I use about two pounds, but I love chicken more than I love pasta. So that's why I do it this way. All right, this one might be my favorite viral TikTok so far. Out of all the TikToks, I give it a five out of five and number one out of the three. Thanks for stopping by. If you want more viral one pot meals, I have more right up there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.